Well, good evening, family of God. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. We thank God that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you, people of God. Amen. And it's a privilege and an honor to be with you tonight on this platform. Amen. And to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Praise God. So I'm just going to be waiting for people to come on and we will begin the lesson shortly. So blessings to all of you in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Thank you, Father. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Please say, please say where you are watching from, your name. I cannot see any comment sections on my side. Um, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, family of God. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Please share this broadcast on your side. Um, I would really appreciate that. Bless the Lord. Um, praise God. Please share this broadcast on your side. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. All right. Good evening, Sister Sybil. Thank you for the greeting. God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, son. God bless you. Kinyajua, God bless you. Good to have you on. Daughter, bless you, Laura from USA. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome, family of God. Welcome. Welcome. Amen. We're going to go straight into the lessons. So, Father, I thank you for your grace and your blessing upon this lesson, upon this broadcast. You get all the glory, God. We thank you and we give you praise. I thank you, God, that your people will be hearers and doers of your word. Thank you for the anointing of God over this broadcast. And you get all the glory, Father. We give you praise. So I sit down, so you stand up. And you get all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, bless the Lord. Good evening, everyone. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. We thank God for who he is. He's great. And he's greatly to be praised. Amen. 
Uh, thank you also. Good to have you, um, Ronel. Good to have you on. God bless you. Um, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your greetings. Amen. So please feel free to share this broadcast on your Facebook. And so we're going to get straight into the word of the Lord. Um, tonight is Apostolic Council um, to the body of Christ, to the church of Jesus Christ. Um, I firmly believe that um, God is speaking to the church um, and we need to hear and obey what God is saying. Um, we have to be open to receive direction um, from God um, through the leading of the Holy Spirit. Um, the scripture is so clear in Revelations 2 verse 29. Uh, Let him who has an ear um, hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say unto the church. And so we have to receive direction. Praise God by the leading of the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God, what's on the heart of the Father. And, and that is very, very important family of God um, because we want to make sure that we are doing exactly what God has asked us to do. Um, that's very important. Um, we cannot be doing our own things. Praise God. We have to do exactly what God wants us to do and we have to do it exactly uh, the way that he wants it to be done or that um, the way that he expects it to be done okay so therefore we cannot be doing our own things okay praise God and so um, I firmly believe um, that God is restoring um, the apostolic ministry um, I believe God is restoring the apostolic ministry and um, I also do believe that God is uh, restoring the office of the apostle that is scriptural it is God's order okay and we cannot change God's order we have to set order within the church of Jesus Christ apostles set um, in order okay they set in order right and they set order even to error doctrine uh, within the church now I do firmly believe that God is restoring the apostolic ministry but this is very important and I do believe in this season um, God is raising up a Nehemiah company a Nehemiah company um, I do firmly believe that um, and when we look at Nehemiah we, we understand that uh, Nehemiah is also a type of an apostolic ministry um, and when you look at the word uh, the name Nehemiah the name Nehemiah means comforter it means comforter okay and so I want you to know according to scripture uh, when we look at John 14 verse 26 I just want to go there John 14 verse 26 and the word of God says in John 14 verse 26 but the comforter the comforter, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, stand by the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things, and he will cause you to recall, will remind you of, bring to your remembrance everything I have told you. Okay, and so we see a uh, comforter, uh, the name Nehemiah means comforter, and we know um, he is a type of the Holy Spirit. We know the Holy Spirit is the comforter. Okay, so the Holy Spirit is an apostolic spirit because according to scripture, the Holy Spirit, he was sent by the Father. 
Okay, and we see this in scripture in John 14 verse 26, the passage of scripture that I just read to you now, praise God, gives us um, clarification and gives us assurance, praise God, amen, of correct interpretation of scripture that the Holy Spirit is an apostolic spirit. Okay, so when we look at Nehemiah in the word of God, okay, we know that Nehemiah is also a type of, of, of an apostolic ministry. I believe that God is raising up a company of Nehemiahs in this season. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I firmly believe that he's raising up a people, a Nehemiah people, a Nehemiah generation, a Nehemiah ecclesia, a Nehemiah remnant, praise God, and ministries, because God is restoring the apostolic ministry. Okay, this is very important. And we know that Nehemiah was also a sent one. Okay, when we look at Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 5 and 6, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 5 and verse 6, And the word of God says, And I said to him, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you will send me to Judah, to the city of my father's sepulchers, that I may rebuild it. That I may rebuild it. Praise God. Amen. And I do firmly believe Praise God that apostles are um, skillful architects. They are master builders. They bring the blueprint of heaven. Praise God to the church of Jesus Christ. So that the church of Jesus Christ, praise God, will follow the true pattern of heaven. Amen. Praise God. That's very important, okay? And so I firmly believe, people of God, that God is truly raising up a Nehemiah people. And an apostolic ministry, praise God, is a Nehemiah company. Praise the Lord. They are there to rebuild the room walls. Amen. God is speaking to the church of Jesus Christ in this season and in this time and in this hour. For Nehemiah's to rise up. For Nehemiah's to rise up. Praise God. For Nehemiah's to rise up. Amen. Amen. And we see, praise God, the restoration of apostolic ministry. So apostolic ministries, amen, praise God, are going to rise up as Nehemiah's. And people are going to rise up as Nehemiah's in this season, in this hour, in this new era. To rebuild the ruin walls. Praise the Lord. Amen. To rebuild the ruin walls and also to rebuild people. Praise God. To rebuild people. We are not here to tear people down. We are not here to tear ministries down. All right. We are here to rebuild. Praise God. Amen. So we have to follow the blueprint we have to follow the pattern and we know that jesus is the pattern praise the lord verse 6 the king beside whom the queen was sitting asked me how long will your journey take and when will you return so it pleased him to send me and i set him a time okay and so now we understand in the scripture that nehemiah was a sent one and Nehemiah, in this passage of scripture, he was sent to build. He was sent to build. Okay. So, uh, the apostolic spirit is a blueprint spirit. Amen. We need the fivefold ministry to work together. That's true. But we need to embrace the apostolic authority, the apostolic anointing, the apostolic spirit. 
Amen. The apostolic ministry. We need to embrace. We need to be open to the office of the apostle too. It is scriptural. It is scriptural. And you find that in Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 11. Praise God. Amen. The office of the apostle. Praise God. Okay. And so it's very important to understand this people of God. Because they, there is a doctrine that is going around called apostolic um, succession that, said that the Pope says that after the Apostle Peter died, all of the Apostles have died. And that is total error, people of God. This is why we have to be equipped with the Word of God, the truth of God's Word, amen, so that we can be effective as the Church of Jesus Christ in the earth. We can be effective. As, the, as a church, praise God, as the saints of God, we will be effective as God's kingdom ambassadors in the earth. We will be effective, praise God, and we will be effective as we are intentional about fulfilling the great commission of Jesus Christ. The great commission is also referred to as the apostolic commission. Praise God, because that commission was given to the apostles. Jesus, the chief apostle, releasing that to the apostles and he sent them out. Praise the Lord. Okay, so Nehemiah was sent to build. The apostolic spirit is a building spirit. Praise the Lord. Whenever you find the apostolic dimension, people of God, you will find building and rebuilding and so we need the apostolic anointing people of God amen and that is imparted through true authentic apostles praise God so that you can go out and build and rebuild my God praise God that you that you build and rebuild you build and rebuild you build this this is the mandate of of the Nehemiahs that are arising in this new era. Are you a part of what God is doing now? Are you a part? Do you want to be a part of what God is doing now? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are in apostolic prophetic uh, dispensation, people of God. And we need to be open to the spirit of God. Amen. Praise God. So that we do exactly what God wants us to do in this season. To go forth and build people. To go forth and rebuild people. To go forth and build and rebuild. Uh, uh, praise God ministries. Uh, 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 praise God our communities. Amen. Our neighborhoods. Our country. Praise God. And even ourselves as well. As individuals. Praise God. We need to come to this place where we allow God to make us over again. Amen. Praise God. So that we become more like Jesus. So we have to go and build. We have to go and rebuild the room walls. Praise God. Bring people out of obscurity. Bring people out of darkness. Amen. Praise God. Go forth and be the hope to someone. Be the light to someone. Amen. Praise God. Uh, bring healing to someone. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you are a solution. Amen. To someone. Praise God. As you represent Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the answer praise god amen and your testimony will be able to uh, uh um, help someone to be set free and you become the testimony praise god amen you overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your testimony amen praise god hallelujah and so this is the instruction of god to the church of jesus christ now when we look at the scripture and we look at a uh, nehemiah in the book of Nehemiah, when we, and, and you can even find in the book of Ezra as well, Nehemiah did face opposition. He did face opposition, but in spite of opposition, Nehemiah was able to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem because he was sent. And this is important, people of God. You cannot send yourself. You have to be sent out. You cannot do that. And you have to be sent out by a sent one. Praise the Lord. Amen. An apostle is a sent one. 
All right. Praise God. And so as you go for, amen, as you go for to build and rebuild uh, the rune walls in people's lives, uh, praise God, in, in, in every aspect uh, of your life, praise God, even in the marketplace, in the church, uh, 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 in the business sector, in the education sector, the government sector, praise God, even in your life, even in your own home, you are going to encounter spiritual opposition from the enemy. Okay? Even from hell, right? Okay, and even from people, right? But you have to set your face as a flint on the Lord. And no matter how uncomfortable it will make you feel, you got to be willing to hear and obey God. This is the instruction to the church of Jesus Christ in this new era, people of God. That God is raising up a Nehemiah company, is raising up Nehemiah ministries, apostolic ministries, is restoring apostolic ministries to go forth with the mandate and the grace and the anointing of Nehemiah to go forth and build and rebuild. This is the mandate in this season. All right. Praise God. OK, so um, he had the authority from the king to build. OK. And so when you submit to God's authority, praise God, amen, you'll be able to resist the enemy. You submit to God's authority and you submit to authority in the earth. Praise God, amen. And so when you submit to an apostolic authority, praise God, amen, you are protected. You are protected. And so Nehemiah submitted to apostolic authority and he was sent. And so through what he encountered, um, him encountered in spiritual opposition, he was still able to break through. He was still able to persevere uh, because remember, the king had released authority to Nehemiah to build. And that's why you need apostolic authority released upon you, amen, for you to build. Remember, apostles are master builders. So they have the authority to release upon you to both. Okay? And that's why God is restoring apostolic ministries. Okay? The church needs to shift from pastoral to apostolic. Leadership needs to shift from pastoral to apostolic. It's not a denomination, people of God. It is God's blueprint for the church. It is not denomination. We've become comfortable with denomination, and that's religion. We are about the kingdom. We are about the kingdom. We are about the kingdom. Amen. And we are here to advance and expand the kingdom of God in the earth. This is very important. Okay. So you need apostolic authority. All right. Okay. So Nehemiah also shows us in this passage of scripture and in the entire book, of Nehemiah and also Ezra, as I said, Nehemiah also shows us that that where shows us that where there is building, you will also encounter warfare. Let me tell you, the warfare is increasing in this hour. And as you go forth to build and rebuild the ruined walls in your community, your nation, your home, your ministry, praise the Lord. You are going to encounter spiritual opposition. There will be warfare. There will be warfare. And you have to be prepared. You have to be armed. Praise God. You have to operate in God's divine order. Not in your own order. And not in your own authority. Praise the Lord. This is very, very important people of God. So when we look at Nehemiah... Um, he commanded his builders to hold weapons in one hand. While they were building, he commanded uh, them to hold weapons in one hand and building equipment in the other hand. And so you got to prepare people for warfare through the process of building. And I shared a lesson this past Sunday, and I encourage you to go and watch it on my Facebook page, amen, and our ministry page, uh, where I spoke about spiritual warfare. 
um, putting on the whole armor of God. And so that will give you more insight. Uh, praise the Lord. Okay. And so we have to arm people. We have to raise up a army, a mighty army, a Nehemiah army. A army sorry. Uh, they are also a spiritual warfare company. So as they are building the kingdom, advancing the kingdom, expanding the kingdom, praise God, they are armed, uh, praise God, with their weapons of warfare. Their spiritual weapons of warfare. For the weapons of our warfare, praise God, are not carnal. Are not carnal. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, are not carnal, but are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, so we cannot become comfortable with church. We are on the battlefield. We are on the battlefield. All right, praise God. And so we need to prepare the body of Christ. We need to prepare the church of Jesus Christ and not be comfortable about doing church work and we missing the mandate that God has given the church of Jesus Christ and us as humanity in the earth. Praise the Lord. Okay. All right. Praise God. And so I believe that even today, there is no building without warfare. There is no building without warfare. So you are going to encounter warfare in your building process, um, in building, building ministries, building your life, building people. <laughs> Praise God and rebuilding the ruined walls like Nehemiah to go forth and assigned, released with apostolic anointing and authority to go and rebuild the ruined walls of Jerusalem. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. This is very important. So Satan will always oppose the building of the church. And Jesus says that he will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail amen and so we have to build according to the pattern of heaven family of God we have to follow the pattern who is Jesus Christ and build according to the blueprint praise God amen so that we can fulfill the great commission the apostolic commission amen given to us by Jesus Christ in Matthew 28 Praise God. Amen. And so it's the job of the apostles to release that anointing and that authority to the body of Christ so that they can be effective. Praise God. Be effective. Amen. Praise the Lord in executing the Great Commission, the Apostolic Commission. Apostolic churches, apostolic ministries are warfare churches. A warfare churches that are able to fight through opposition and build. You need apostolic ministry. You need apostolic dimension in your ministry. You need apostolic authority. You need apostolic anointing. Praise the Lord. You need apostolic covering. All right. Praise God so that you can be protected you can operate under God's order so that you can be effective to do the work of the ministry in God's order. So therefore you can go forth and build and rebuild and overcome spiritual opposition through your spiritual warfare. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you'll be able to fight the good fight of faith. I believe God is raising up a Nehemiah company of people in this time. 
who are not going to be moved by religion, tradition, and culture. Their focus is on building and rebuilding the church, people, according to God's design. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, the Bible says in Isaiah 61 verse 4, this is the prophetic word to the church. And they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the ruined cities. The desolation of many generations. This is the word of the Lord to the church of Jesus Christ. This will be the result of the ministry of a sent one. So this is not a time for you to be happy doing church. You want to be a part of what God is doing. And you want to do it exactly the way God wants it to be done. Operating and functioning under God's order. Under God's divine order. Under God's apostolic order. Again, so that you can be effective as a person. You can be effective as a ministry. And we can become effective as the church of Jesus Christ. We see the Isaiah the prophet in Isaiah 61 verse 1. Isaiah the prophet, he prophesied, Isaiah prophesied about our Lord. And he said, when, when the Lord said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Isaiah prophesied about our Lord. And he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Family of God, the anointing upon sent ones causes rebuilding to occur. Tonight, as a true sent one that has been sent by God through the leading of the Holy Spirit, and I have been apostolically sent and released by a sent one and a company of sent ones. Praise God. Amen. And I operate under that authority and that mantle. And so tonight, by the authority of heaven and by the grace of God and as God's true apostle, I release apostolic anointing upon you and apostolic authority upon you. As I have been sent, I send you forth in the name of Jesus to go forth and build and rebuild through your spiritual opposition that you will encounter, that you will have confidence, determination, boldness to continue to build and rebuild people's lives, homes, families, the ministry, amen, your community, your neighborhood, your country, wherever God has assigned you to, you got to know that you are a builder and a rebuilder. You are a kingdom ambassador. You are a kingdom citizen. Praise God. Amen. And so I release the Nehemiah anointing upon you. Praise God in the name of Jesus. That you will go forth. Amen. You will go forth and you will comfort God's people. You will go forth and heal the brokenhearted. Amen. Jesus came to set the captives free. Praise the Lord. And you will go forth to reconcile people back to God. Reconcile people back to God. Amen. And so I firmly believe that God is raising up Nehemiah in the season. Amen. Amen. And apostolic ministry is being restored. Amen. And I pray that they take on this responsibility, apostolic ministries, to go forth and carry the Nehemiah grace and anointing to build and rebuild. Um, I firmly believe that. So family of God, amen. You need apostolic authority um, 
you need apostolic anointing. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. We cannot fight God's word. Don't try and fight God's word. Um, God's word has been tried and tested. Don't fight God's word. Um, God remains true to his word. God honors his word. Amen. So if you want to be effective, be intentional about getting into God's divine order. Um, get order, set order in your life, um, in your ministry. Um, praise God. Um, in the grace of God upon your life, the call of God upon your life, the assignment that God has graced upon you. Uh, get into God's order, people of God. And I'm telling you, you are going to be effective. Amen. Get apostolic covering. Pray about it. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Amen. Operate under God's divine order. Again, I'm going to say to you, you need apostolic anointing. You need apostolic authority. The ministry needs apostolic dimension. You need apostolic covering. This is very important. Okay. And God is restoring the office of the apostle. God is restoring the apostolic ministry so that the church of Jesus Christ can rise up and be effective to execute the great commission, the apostolic commission, according to Matthew chapter 28. Praise God. And so that we can advance and we can expand the kingdom of God when we do it God's way, not man's way, not our way, not my way, but God's way. We follow the blueprint of heaven. Amen. Praise God. And so I release the apostolic grace upon you tonight. I release apostolic anointing upon you tonight that you will go forth and build and rebuild. Amen. And so if you need to connect with an apostolic covering, amen, praise God. You need that within your life, the ministry. Pray about it. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. And if you need to reach out to me, pray about it and you're welcome to reach out to me. Well, family, God bless you. I just needed to come forth, forward and, and release um, the word of the Lord um, to you um, that we will be effective. Amen. So don't fight God's order. Um, don't fight the office of the apostle and do not fight apostolic ministry. This is not a denomination. I'm going to say that again. This is God's divine order so that we can be effective. Come on, people of God. We need to go forth and build. We need to go forth and rebuild. Drop your ego, drop your pride, drop all of that down. Even drop your certificates down and start doing things God's way. Drop your title down and start doing things God's way so that he gets the glory. He gets the glory. He gets the glory. Praise God. And we see souls coming in. We see lives being changed and transformed. We see an influx, an influx um, of discipleship. Uh, disciples rising in this hour. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Go forth and make disciples of all nations. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. To be about the Father's business. Amen. And we see a company of sons arising, true authentic sons arising in this new era. Amen. Who will go forth and be about the Father's business. I believe that. I believe that. Amen. Who will carry the glory of God. Who will manifest the glory of God um, in the earth. Amen. Praise God. And I'm not just focusing on the church. Listen to me. It's outside of the church. I hope you're understanding this. So don't get comfortable within the church. <laughs> All right. So I believe that God is raising up um, a Nehemiah company um, in this season, in this hour, in this new era. He's raising up Nehemiahs. Um, He's raising up a company of Nehemiahs. Um, praise God. He's raising up Nehemiah ministries. Nehemiah ministries are apostolic ministries. It is also an apostolic ministry. It is a type of an apostolic ministry. Praise God. And so this is the mandate that God has given to us as the church of Jesus Christ. Is that we have to go forth and build and rebuild the room walls. Praise God. Amen. So I pray that true authentic apostles will rise up in the season and do what God has called them to do. Amen. And raise up an apostolic company. Praise the Lord. Amen. Every leader, raise up. Rise up and do what God has called you to do and do it exactly the way God has instructed you to do it. And I pray that we all get order in our lives and we all operate in order. 
Amen. Praise God. And so I believe that we are here to build and rebuild. And that's my mandate is to build and rebuild people. Amen. According to the pattern of heaven. Amen. According to the design of heaven. Um, rebuild and build people. Ministries. Amen. Families. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And family of God, it's beyond the church building. There's work to be done. 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 So don't get comfortable in your church. Come on. Get out and do what God has called you to do. Connect with people that will take you to your God next. God had to connect me to my apostle before she transitioned, um, who was the sent one. That's it. A sent one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A sent one. Amen. To mentor me, to cultivate me, to train me, to equip me. Amen. For the work of the ministry. Um, and hands were laid on me. And I was sent into office. And I was released and sent out. Um, but God brought her into my life. Amen. Uh, 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 Chief Apostle Dr. Winnie Hamilton. Um, God bless her heart. Bless her soul. Um, to, to bring her into my life. To build me. To rebuild me. To build me. And so... That grace is upon my life. That anointing is upon my life. Her mantle is upon my life. And therefore, I execute the same mandate that God has given to me, um, that has been imparted into me. And so this is why my mandate is to build and rebuild people and ministries. Um, praise the Lord. Amen. Is to raise up sons. According to Romans chapter 8, raise up sons, um, not members, raise up sons um, for the work of the ministry. Amen. Praise God. And the work of the ministry is beyond the four corner building. Okay. So pray. Let the Lord connect you. Let the Lord connect you to divine relationships. Let the Lord connect you to divine relationships apostolic coverings um, even to true authentic apostles that will help you to develop you and equip you and mentor you and to properly um, establish you in the principles and the truth of God's word the doctrine of Jesus Christ okay so we are to raise up sons and not membership okay so that people can operate in their full sonship amen Amen. Be carriers of the presence of God, carriers of the glory of God. Be carriers of the heart of God. Be carriers of the heart of God. And be about the Father's business. This is my prayer. This is the Father's heart for you, people of God. Um, Today, as an apostle of Jesus Christ, I release apostolic anointing and authority upon you tonight so that you can go forth and build. Go forth and build. Build your life again. Build your life again. Go forth and build, people. Go forth and rebuild. Amen. Stop holding on to the past. Behold, God is doing a new thing now God is pouring new wine into new wine skins be open to receive the new wine amen hallelujah amen and that means be open to receive the office of the apostle be open to receive apostolic ministry And to have apostolic ministry within your ministries. Alright. So that means you have to connect to a true seasoned apostle. Who is led by the Holy Spirit. Who is in authority, under authority. And who has been consecrated. Amen. And who has been released and sent out. Uh, by also a true apostle. Um, you cannot call yourself a sent one. 
An apostle is a sent one. Jesus was a sent one, so he sent his disciples out. He called them apostles. So they were sent out. So you cannot send yourself out. And so he sent them out. Amen. To build and rebuild. Praise God. Amen. So if we want to be effective, you want to be effective. You want your ministry to be effective. Return back to God's blueprint. That's it. Return back to God's blueprint. And follow God's apostolic order. Divine order. Because God is a God of order. Don't be a lone ranger. Don't be a lone ranger. And sometimes God will connect you with someone that's out of your out of your ministry, out of your state, out of your country. How God connected me to my apostle who was residing in the United States, and I am in South Africa. And God connected us by the Spirit of God. And so God will connect you with someone outside of your home, your family, your ministry, your church, your city, your neighborhood, your continent, your country. Because sometimes people around you overlook you, undermine you. They don't see you the way God sees you. And so God will bring somebody else that God will reveal to that person will take the time to cultivate you hold your hand and walk you through the process God had to use my apostle to hold my hand and walk me through the process this is the word of the Lord people of God yes we have God we have Jesus we have the Holy Spirit but God will use someone so as God used someone in my life, today God is using me to be someone in somebody else's life and to many lives across the globe. And I know this lesson has been a blessing to you tonight. And I'm helping you so that you can go forth and help other people. It's not about us. It's about the Father. It's about the Father. So every ministry needs apostolic dimension. And that ministry will focus on building and rebuilding. Amen. Despite spiritual opposition you will which you will encounter okay you will encounter that it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy you come under a lot of attacks um scrutiny yeah um, people will try to dis um, regard you, discredit you. Um, wow. You come under a lot of warfare. When you choose to build according to God's pattern. When I had to transition, and I'm going to be personal with you tonight. When I had to transition from pastoral to apostolic mindset and even the ministry and even myself uh, to transition um, into the office of the apostle it was not easy it was uncomfortable and there was a lot of things I had to die to there was a lot of things I had to unlearn and relearn but at the same time there was a lot of attacks that came with it a lot of attacks people within the church, people within the body of Christ. I had to face a lot of religious people, tradition, 
They were bound by tradition and culture. Because I chose to follow the pattern. And the pattern is Jesus. And I chose to follow the blueprint. To build according to the blueprint. So those are some of the spiritual warfare you're going to encounter. People will leave you. People will walk away from you. Um, people will talk about you. People will judge you. People will undermine you. People will slander you. People will even talk about those you connect with. People will even talk about those that you break bread with. You cut covenant with those that you even... Uh, um, 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 who you allow to be your apostolic covering. Um, people will come against you. Yeah, I've been there. And I had to stand through it all. And, and the reason why I stood is because I chose to set my face as a flint on the Lord. On the Lord. And hear and obey God. And trust God through the process. And be willing to adhere to total submission to God's authority. And to submission to authority in the earth God has placed in my life. And today I see the results. There's a price to pay. You must be willing to pay the price. You must be willing to go through the sacrifice when you choose to do it God's way. God's way. Amen. So let us follow the pattern. The pattern is the blueprint. The blueprint is God's word. That's what the scripture talks about. Um, where it talks about to ask for the ancient paths. The apostles reveal the ancient paths. The mysteries of the kingdom to the people of God. To the church of Jesus Christ. So that the church can be effective. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, I pray that you adhere to the word of the Lord. And I pray that you start seeking the Lord for direction. And be open to hear what the Lord has just released through this broadcast. And that you hear and obey God. Well, family of God, God bless you. Um, have a blessed evening, a blessed week ahead in the Lord. Amen. It is time to build and rebuild. Nehemiahs are arising in this hour. Amen. So God bless you. This is Apostle Joseph Osborne. God bless you. Good night. Shalom.